Hey guys, it's time to do a full comparison between the Huawei P9 Lite versus the Galaxy J7 Prime. I'll also be taking a look at their, their cameras and basically compare the pictures, both outdoor, indoor, as well as low light condition wise, and also a 1080p video comparison. So uh, this is an all in all uh, deciding video for you. So uh, let's first talk about the price. Okay, so the P9 Lite is actually cheaper compared to the J7 Prime, at least where I live. This is coming at uh, 260 270 dollars you know it depends if you get like full official uh, variant that comes with like an extra I think uh, 16 gigabyte micro SD card but yeah I mean 260 270 dollars that's the price for this phone and the J7 Prime comes uh, with a price tag of 340 uh, or maybe if you are in India or somewhere else you might get it for cheaper price but they are pretty close, like a little bit difference, not a big, huge, but this is of course cheaper. Uh, if we talk about uh, the build quality, okay, let's talk about build quality and decide which is better build quality wise. So uh, we got full metallic or aluminum body here, so which looks really good, it's really premium, it's a slim body phone, the buttons are compact, they click, and you know, it's a really good phone, Samsung made this phone really well you know while the p9 Lite, it's using uh, plastic on the back this is a hard plastic and if you get the black color you know it almost feels like it's a say like a metallic phone but it's it's not it's plastic on the back okay and uh, also it's, it has gloss on the top uh, where the camera is and also you get aluminum sides which also gives you like a premium feeling. So, uh, but I mean, overall you can see pretty easily that the Galaxy J7 Prime is a better phone when it comes to the build quality and premiumness because it has a true metallic build and it feels really good in hand. While the P9 Lite, it's a semi-premium phone, uh, but still it looks good, at least in black color. So if we take a look at the insides of both phones, uh, particularly display uh, you can see that uh, the p9 Lite has a um, IPS display this one has a TFT display yeah, this is a little bit bigger 5.5 inch this is 5.2 inch both have 1080p HD resolution now a lot of people are complaining that why this phone is using TFT obviously it's not better than Super AMOLED uh, but it is it is good I mean it's not it's not a deal breaker okay uh, the quality is not as good as Super AMOLED again, but it's not a bad display. Okay, so it can get really bright. Compared to P9 Lite, it's it's a respectable display. Um, the wires on the P9 Lite is like slightly better. Uh, but overall, they do get really bright, you know. You won't be having any problem with outdoor uh, visibility or anything like that. So, do enjoy both displays. But of course, this is a little bit bigger, and uh, if they went with like Super AMOLED, then it would have been like really better. But TFT also is uh, is okay, and it's not something like a deal breaker thing. So both phones does have the support for micro SD card. They have 16 gigabyte internal memory, and also you get fingerprint sensor on the back of the P9 Lite. Well, here you get the home button fingerprint sensor here, like the usual Samsungs. Uh, design language thing we have. Now let's dive into the software on both devices. So you get uh, Android Marshmallow in both phones. I can confirm that by going into the um, the settings and when you scroll down to the about device section you can see Android version 6.0.1 and same thing here. So Obviously, there's a difference in their, you know, skins. Of course, this is like combination of home screens, uh, more like iOS. You know, they they try to make things like more simpler. Here, you get a dedicated app drawer, uh, typical Samsung look. If you have used any Samsung phone in the past, like Galaxy S4 or S5 or any phone, then you would be able to use it without any problem. You know, it's not that changed. Uh, compared to the older versions, but but yeah, I mean uh, you can use launchers, so you're not restricted to these skins. Uh, Android is, allows a lot of customization. So under the hood, we get Kirin 650 on the um, on the Huawei P9 Lite versus here. 
uh, we do get the uh, Exynos 7870. Now both phones have uh, these uh, mid-range chipset which perform really good. You should be able to play any game without any lag. Uh, and uh, the, the browsing experience, the in-app experience is smooth. You get 3 gigs of RAM on the J7 Prime versus 2 gigs of RAM on the P9 Lite. The 3 gb RAM variant is not available in most markets, uh, but if you can get that 3 gb RAM variant, then you will definitely get uh, better RAM management on the P9 Lite compared to the 2 gb RAM model that I have here, while the J7 Prime is just really this is a marketing trick. I mean, uh, there's no difference between this phone and the 2 gb RAM J7 2016. So they perform almost the same. I mean, if you are using four to five applications real life usage wise, you won't be having any problem. Uh, 2 gb RAM, 3 gb RAM, it should be enough. Uh, but again, if you are interested, I highly recommend to check my speed test. Uh, which I will be linking down below. Now, if you take a look at the cameras, we get 13 megapixel resolution on both devices. On the front, you get 8 megapixel. So, overall picture, I should say, uh, the J7 Prime produces like a little bit natural colors compared to the vibrant uh, outcome from the P9 Lite. Uh, but all in all, I enjoy both cameras. They do great for the price, um, and they have really good looking 1080p video footage performance. Also, I like the. The, their microphone performance and low light performance wise I think the uh, J7 Prime is a little bit better with the colors because it has f1.9 aperture size uh, uh, so it does perform better in uh, extreme low light conditions the colors are accurate while the P9 Lite is a bit washed out uh, but overall I mean they are pretty neck and neck cameras uh, of course you guys are the judge here so you can decide uh, which one is better so let's take a look at the video performance So lastly, if we talk about the battery performance on these devices, we get a little bit bigger battery with uh, the J7 Prime. It's 3,300 uh, versus 3,000 on the Huawei P9 Lite. Now in my testing, and based on my personal usage, uh, the J7 Prime was a little bit better. Uh, and, uh, you know, I did have to charge the, both of these two phones at the end of the day, but this one uh, ran out of battery a little bit faster compared to this one. Uh, but again, uh, I would definitely say that it's uh, not a huge difference 
course, it depends on your usage. I was playing a little bit of games, but mostly I was just um, using YouTube, playing videos, and I was on Wi-Fi all the time, and I had SIM card on both devices. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you do get a little bit better battery life with the Galaxy J7 Prime. So all in all, it's really difficult to decide which phone you should go for. Uh, but I think it's it all comes down to your personal taste. I think the J7 Prime uh, is, is going to have like a little bit better resale value if you buy this phone. It also performs better uh, when it comes to the low light performance. Colors are more natural camera wise. It gives a really good build quality here for the price. I mean it's, it feels super good in hand. But the P9 Lite of course it's uh, cheaper a uh, little bit and uh, it depends on where you live maybe the json prime is not available everywhere then uh, you can go with this one but if you do get three gigabyte ram variant of this one i think you should go uh, go with it because the performance will be so much better so yeah uh, overall they are they are pretty pretty close devices but again the build quality and your taste will decide which one uh, you should go for so i'll see you in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh peace